So a quick little purge valve solenoid replacement. Uh, here's the old one. Uh, it's held down by an eight millimeter, or you can use the 5 sixteenths. I use the 5 sixteenths um, bolt. Uh, you can take that off first, or what I did was uh, I unclipped this, so you push it, boom. And then if you want, you can take the bolt off. Just kind of makes it easier. You'll have this on top of here, but all you gotta do is push it over. You see that? And then just maneuver it out. But if you have the bolt off, then it'll probably just all come off and then it'll be a little bit easier. And uh, yeah, this was after I took off the Vortec cover. Uh, it's the same eight mil or five sixteenths that I used to take that off. So yeah, if you got the 5.3 LS and That'll be your purge valve solenoid replacement. So now I got to put the new one on and um, I'm actually going to put a, a engine coolant temperature gauge next, which that is located down there. You see the switch coming off of that. So stay, stay tuned for that one. But quick little purge valve solenoid replacement right there. Um, I haven't done it yet, but just a little easy setup. Yeah. So if you have some extra engine oil, uh, just rub it on your finger. And then there's an O-ring. Where's the old one? There's an O-ring on the bottom of the purge valve. See right here? Just rub it on that O-ring. And then just put that sucker back in. Put the bolt back. Boom, we're gonna put this back in and then the switch. I guess we can put the switch right now. Uh, I already blew some air in there trying to get some debris out, but uh, yeah, pretty easy. We'll check uh, the code after, but uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. And then we'll just put the cover back on, but we might have to clean this bitch before that. But we'll see. So for the temperature, uh, coolant temperature gauge, you're gonna need a uh, three fourths. And you see right here, boom, fits. This is the new one. Uh, the old one is gonna be, I'm not sure, can't see. Uh, took off the plug already, there it is. So I ran into a little dilemma when I popped the old uh, temperature gauge out, coolant is gonna fucking splash. So just be aware that shit went into my mouth. Be good, but the good amount, I wanna say like fucking, I don't know, like a pint of fucking coolant came out. But, or a pint fucking quart, my bad. I don't even know my fucking measurement. Anyways, we got that bitch right on. That shit was leaking. You can see that shit went fucking. It's going everywhere. So I might have to refill a little bit on coolant, but for the most part, we got that bitch on. Uh, I'm gonna clean off the old switch so it's not all fucking wet and coolant. You can see it right there. But uh, yeah, just be aware. <clears throat> be aware that you're gonna get coolant. So I say once you take off the old uh, sensor, just have a new one ready right away so you can pop it right back in beware <laughs> yeah Ooh. so just a quick little vid um yeah we got what we could what we needed to get done again the coolant temperature gauge right there i'm gonna let the wire dry out a little bit from all the coolant splashing all over it but it is what it is uh we got the purge valve solenoid on anybody uh can you comment to see if it's supposed to be like shaky like this but i think it is just because it's a purge so it's supposed to let uh air out right i think i'm not sure comment let me know and 
but yeah, that's about it. I gotta clean this fucking engine. Cause when I took it to Truck and Madness, we hit a fucking dust storm and you can see all the dust in it. I had already cleaned it before we left, but um, yeah, I gotta re-clean it. Gotta do some updates to the engine. Um, but before I do that, I do wanna get it. <coughs> I was thinking about getting a stage two tranny on my 4L60, but I found someone that builds a 4L80, so I think we're gonna go ahead and do that, but it's gonna be a while. Um, just gonna fix my check engine codes first. So put some maintenance work in, and then uh, after that, we'll see uh, if we uh, get the transmission. Well, we are, but uh, honestly, I gotta make some payments still. Like I gotta paint my rims off. Um, my drop. There's a couple of things. Uh, I bought my hood. There's a couple of things bought and a couple of things that I financed, but it is what it is. We run in on fumes. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. Purge valve solenoid, coolant temperature gauge, and we'll come back next time for the, the, the build that's ongoing on this avalanche. Um, Future plans with the Avalanche, I will not say, because I want to be the first to do it, do it on an Avalanche. I've seen, um, yeah, never mind. We'll just leave it at that. So, till next time. This is Peach running on fumes. Peace.